I like making people feel uncomfortable in public. You know. I do it to this guy all the time. <laughs> he, did, he did it to my wife. We were at my house. You were doing it with my wife. And then we went out to an EO event. And you started doing it. And she was like, Marcus Soto. <laughs> she, she last named you. Yeah. It's oh, good. It's so good. Funny. I like it. Hot out there, huh? Sunny. Sun's blazing. Sunny. Oh, this. These guys? Is that what we're talking about now? It's all these lights. Paracore? Oh, yeah. Are they paracore glow? Yeah. I think I had a pair of those once. Yeah. They block some sun. Mark's too cool. He wears his sunglasses inside. I wear my sunglasses at night so I can. So I can. And we're back! Is that how it kicks off? That's that, that. Is that like the official, that's our official start 55 episodes later? Or 54 episodes later? Cause just I us. wouldn't say that on the first one, would I? I don't know. We just do some random weird shit and then you and, go. And we're back. Although, like, we did, uh, I did that uh, contractor coalition I had up into the right podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, I did, and I did all of that hosting underneath a different email. And then I lost that email like i didn't renew it and now i can't access all of those like that channel or that youtube really like, it's just on oh. youtube but i don't have access so i gotta figure out like what the email is so i can get it back offline so i can get it and put it in some place so nobody owns that channel right now <laughs> whatever you ain't got time for that shit <laughs> You're right, I don't have <laughs> time for this shit. If you want a new hobby, go, fine, go get it, Marcus, whatever, go ahead. <laughs> I own it, it's just I can't access it. That I own it, I just can't access it. I own it. Does the email own it? I own it. I oh. just can't access it. What, what's the email? It's Different it's types just... of wires and conduit bodies. It looks like we're going to learn something this time. Moving on. Romex vs. MC. This was like a pay-per-view. I'm going MC all day. Oh. <laughs> Here's a good video for commercial spaces in Massachusetts can have a Romex per hour mass amendments, okay? Look at this whole facility is wired with SCR, Romex... I know in a lot of states, and in the code book even, the national code book, you can only run Romex in dwellings, but above drop ceiling, and you can't do it in commercial. But in Massachusetts, we have mass amendments that allow us to do this. What? So if That's you go crazy. into most grocery stores in Massachusetts, if you bid it in MC, you're going to lose a job because the next guy's bidding it in Romex. Not all. I'm not saying every one, but you have to follow certain rules, but you're allowed to do it here. All right? It's a little different everywhere. Yeah, that's that's the definition of the AHJ getting to choose what 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 the rules are, but they're just going past like they don't said fuck you NEC. What? That's that's preposterous, preposterous. Like even a fucking even one of those wire hanging one of the grid hanging wires like can just poke into a Romex like right anything could happen. Somebody's up there messing with something. In the HVAC world, like they're just up there doing something different, and they like one of them, ro- one of them grid grid wires pokes into a Romax, pow. Yep. Like that's all it takes. Yep. It's not protected. How the fuck is that allowed? I don't know. Dude, DM- I will tell DMC you. DMC Electric. You tell me what. I will tell you. I have seen Romax in grocery stores here in Arizona before, <laughs> but they're old, old. Well, no, there's still people installing Romex in commercial space, but that's because they don't know the rules in Arizona. Yeah, that could very well be, too. Yeah. But that's still fucking bullshit. The National Electric Code, like, this guy says they have amendments to run Romex. That blows my mind. I know a guy that owns DMC Electric here. I love love that guy. Shout out to Dave McSpadden. Yep. Dave. Um, That's insane. Well, that's wild. MC is pretty much just metal. It's metal-coated, flexible wire. Metal-clad, yeah. Metal-clad, yeah. 
And you can get it any almost any size with any numbers of wire in them, any colors of wire. Yeah. Any, any whatever you want. For commercial. Commercial. There's a good video for commercial. Uh, something happened with these. Oh, there it is. So, that's pretty much the difference. This is just like a this. plastic sheathing kind of that's on Romex for residential, and that's that's covered in metal. Metal clad. I like clad. how when Kayla pulls pictures, they're they're like they they make me laugh. <laughs> they make you laugh. like. This says twelve three, and this just says twelve gauge. Oh yeah, it needs like, to say twelve two. It's yeah. twelve two. Yeah. With a single pole breaker, and twelve three could Should be, be a, two single pole breakers or, or a, a double or a two pole breaker. Yeah. Ten gauge or a ten three, like that didn't fucking help anybody. <laughs> this is the shit you find online. Like this is why you hire a professional, right? You Google search. Boom. Oh, yeah. You know, I run 14 gauge all over. Which, which one? Like, where? Which? You know, like the white stuff. <laughs> the white stuff? Well, 14, you run like the neutrals? No, like the three wires. Oh, 14, two. Yeah. No, there's three wires. <laughs> oh, and then, yeah, MC metal clad. So this could have uh, any any number of wires or sizes in it they yeah. make they make a bunch of different types but it's the flexible metal conduit um versus the flexible just the sheath romex you know rubberized yep <laughs> oh that cracks me up conduit conduit bodies mm -hmm. different kinds of conduit oh we are learning something today <laughs> That that video threw me off. I thought we we're just gonna bust up, but that's just funny. Like the Romex in the in in the commercial stores. I mean, in the Romex, yeah, dude, running Romex versus like conduit and wire, mm -hmm. fraction fraction of the cost. Oh yeah, yeah. Because you only have to run it once, like running conduit, and then you gotta come back and pull the wire mm -hmm. and like. Oh, okay. All right, what do we got here? Conduit's a lot easier to add to though. <laughs> EMT. EMT. This is IMC. Some IMC. Inter we got... Intermediate. Intermediate uh, conduit. Go ahead. We got some metallic li liquid tight. Yeah, yep. Some seal tight. Metal yeah, metallic liquid tight. Seal yep. tight. People call it seal tight. We got GRC, uh, galvanized rigid. One of the others. These could potentially be the same, really. Um, Actually, that almost looks like more of a galvanized. That one know, does, yeah. But two different sizes, probably half and three quarter. Yep, and then we got two to, two flexes there. Um, one of them's going to be aluminum. One of them's going to be steel, and then the one in the middle is going to be a PVC coated flex, which we don't really use that here. We'll use this. Yeah. For oh. liquid locations. Can I get bigger? <laughs> What'd you do? Maybe I'm tripping. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep. Um, yeah, we don't use a lot of plastic coated. We'll use this in a weatherproof scenario, right? Any any kind of NEMA three with, uh, with where it needs to be protected a little bit extra because there they do make this that's non-metallic that's just the rubber coating as well. Which just yeah, that could be used outside too, right? Yeah. So, like, so you have your, your weatherproof coated one, right? Your yep. NEMA three location, which this one's also got a me the, the metal inside it. Um, flex, this will be done inside. You know, we see a lot of, use a lot of flex for like transformer, the panel or. Yeah, and flex. Equipment. Flex looks a lot like MC. It's just not pre-wired. The, the actual conductors aren't already in it. So you have to size your flex based on how many conductors you're going to be putting into it or what size yeah. conductors. And then the bigger it gets, the bigger the wire gets, the less flexible it actually becomes. But yeah. They call it flex because it's flexible, right? Yeah. So we can go and we can make those turns. We can maneuver that stuff where we need it. Typically short distances is when you're using flex or you're trying to get into an existing space that you can't access yourself. And you're trying to throw something down a wall yeah. or across the ceiling or in a crawl space. 
Yeah, EMT is generally, I believe, what most people associate with running wire or conduit. Um, that's usually the conduit we're running and bending around certain areas to get electricity, you know, across a warehouse or the something. The electrician's tool, the bender. The bender, yeah. yep. <clears throat> Working with live wires. Um, I used to do this a lot. Work on live wires? Yeah, I used to do this a lot. And I still do. Yeah. I mean, myself yeah. personally. I would say shut it down. Now I say shut it down. If you don't, if you know, if you can shut it down, shut it down. If, if you, you can, can, shut it down, shut it down. I'm trying sure. to work appropriately. Last week, uh, Kayla showed me a TikTok of this guy trying to tell people how much he knows about electricity because he's like, I don't know what you guys are so scared of, but this busing isn't going to hurt you unless you're grounded. And then he went and touched the, the live bus in the panel, which may or may not have been live. But he's like, and I'm not grounded, and, you know, so as you can see. And then he's got his finger up there, and he reaches for his phone, which wherever his phone was sitting down, I like, that's too much. Like, yeah. Because no. now you've got, if you've got that 200 amp no. here, and you ground yourself here, here, or here, like, Anywhere that shit's going to go right through your heart. Like, you just don't want to fuck around. And you guys saw my TikTok last week. It was like one little baby wire like melted some shit, blew up and, you know. Mm -hmm. Depending on where that electricity comes into your body and leaves your body, it doesn't take much to hurt you. Right. But he's right. If you're not grounded, you are conductive. You're conductive. You are conductive material, right? Right. So, like, we think about copper is conductive, aluminum, gold. Gold is probably the, the one of the best conductors. Yep. Aside from, actually, somebody told me water's not conductive. They said the, the elements. Are it's the, yeah. So, like, but gold's too expensive, right? So, your body is a conductor. However, if it's just going through the one phase, the one line, you can sustain and wouldn't and not even feel it. You wouldn't even know until you grounded and gave that gave that power a path to go somewhere else. So, just don't do it. Just don't do it. Let's see what we're looking at here. Oh, we got another one. Is this it? Is this the guy? Oh. It's cover off, then I can get to my mains. Those are live, that's where the danger is. Okay, and the Canadian code? They, they cover all this, because they say it's where the danger is. But yeah, they're live. They're live. Oh, the live fucking wires widow maker. When you're not grounded. Listen, don't come at me all tough guy, Stephen J120 volts with your fucking little tick tracer. Do they not teach electricians in Canada how to work on live stuff? Just in case you're wondering, I am like wearing my sneakers at least, but I don't have any fancy whatever. I don't know. Yeah, don't be grounded. Everything. Oh, look. Did they teach you guys anything? Dude. This sounds like the guy that's in Massachusetts running Romex through a commercial building. You're a fucking idiot. Don't teach people to fucking <laughs> He's right. do that. He's right, though. He is right, but he's right. he rubs me the wrong way. But he's right. I wouldn't do that. Personally, I wouldn't nope. do it. I definitely wouldn't do it on my own with my own video camera. <laughs> you know, like just because you don't know at any given no. time somebody comes around the thing, something falls over. Like, and any good electrician doesn't even know where it is. I'm just gonna tell you right yeah, now. That's true. You know, any good electrician doesn't carry one of those things around. First of all. This installation wouldn't fly in Arizona. None of this shit would fly in Arizona. All these exposed Romexes, the exposed service, like all that shit is illegal here. So I don't know where they're at and what amendments they're dealing with, but right. that shit ain't happening in Arizona. No. But, but this guy's pissed yes, off. It's dangerous to work on my things, but you just learn how to do it. That's the point of being an electrician. Is it? it is cover is it? Then I. Is it? If you can, shut it off. Gets cover off. We've all worked on live things. My mains, the... Shut up. Be safe out there. Thanks for watching.